Hi, George here. I was just asked how to put two images on your screen at the same time inside of Photoshop Elements. And it sounded like a very good topic. So let's see how this is done. Now, if you're on the photo bin, you can have multiple images open down here. You know, here's one there, here's another one over here, and you can go back and forth between those. Or you can click on the tabs up here to go back and forth. But if you want to have them both up at the same time, just a couple things to do this. The first thing you should do is to go up here to the Edit menu and come down to Preferences and General. And make sure this is checked, Allow Floating Documents in Advanced Mode. Check that, choose OK. That then sets us up in the same way that Adobe's Photoshop program runs, and that's where you can have your image docked or you can have your image floating. It makes it much more convenient. So here's one way, if you want to, you can float your two windows and you can then have both images open at the same time. If you want to go full size, just double click on the frame and you go full size. Double click on your frame again and it goes back to floating mode. So that gives you a bit more control in here, a bit more freedom. There are other ways though of changing your views. You're not stuck with just doing this. You have to kind of, you know, line things up and get it the way you want. If you go up to the window menu and at the top where it says images, there are different ways in here to adjust how your images are displayed on your screen. Click on tile and it does that. It puts them side by side. I'm going to dock these again. Just pull them up like this and the dock in. So back to the dock mode, window, images, and tile. And they're now tiled and in dock mode. That's real easy. Let's bring the layers panel up. And if the layers panel is up, notice that they are still fitting here side by side. Click on the name to make that window active. Some more things you can do up here under the window menu and images. You can float all in window. You're now floating window like that. Let's go over here. I'm going to just drag that one down. So now both floating windows. Back up to window, images, and then cascade. And it lines them up like that. This is very useful if you have a whole lot of images opened up. They'll then just line up in that overlapping manner. That's the cascade. You can consolidate everything to tabs like that. They're back on tabs again. Or you can float all in windows. They're now floating. There's some more fun things that you can do in here. We'll bring this one up here. Window, Images, and New Window. You can actually have multiple windows open on the same image. This is really useful if you're doing things like adjustments because then I can come over here to this side, grab the Zoom tool. I'm going to zoom in on this side. Let me just resize this and reposition her. There we go. So I now have a zoomed in view here and a regular view over here. Makes it real easy to do detail work and see how it affects the whole image without having to zoom back in and zoom out again. You just stay in your zoom view and you have a reference over on the right hand side. Something else that you can do here in Photoshop Elements, if you bring down your Elements window like that, you actually can have your images floating on your desktop. They are not just stuck inside of the Elements workspace. You can float them on your desktop. And they may like this way of working. It's up to you because I can minimize this window as much as I can like that. So I have my tools over here and my layers over here. And then I have my images floating over here on the desktop. What's actually happening here is that this is how Elements always works. But normally you'll have the desktop full screen in the background. So they're floating in front of the background window. They're not inside of that unless you come in and you dock that in which case it's inside of that window. I'll show you that right here. So that one's docked inside the window and the floating image is floating outside on your desktop. Sometimes that can be really useful depending upon what it is that you're working on. Something else about this, if I'm working over here, click on the tab, you're working on this side, the floating document is still in front. So you're not going to lose that. Now, if I had this as docked windows, if I click on that tab, I then I'm on just that one side, click on this tab, I'm done just on this side. So to have it as a reference image, it needs to be in a floating window. Now I talk about this also over in my Photo Coach program. I'll put a link for that in the description. Now if you enjoyed this video, if this was useful to you, hit that like button, click on subscribe, and I'll see you next time.